guys, this is Cindy Leach, your polymer clay tutor, and in today's studio tip, I'm going to talk about curing polymer clay with a heat gun. Now, there, I have found quite a bit of um, people talking about using a heat gun to cure polymer clay. And the big problem with that advice is that you're just not going to get a proper cure. Now to understand polymer clay, what it needs to do is it needs to be baked at the correct temperature for the brand. And in the case of uh, Primo, which is the brand that we use the most on our site, is um, the temperature that it needs to be held at for Primo is 265 to 275. And each brand has a different temperature. But if the if the clay is not held at that temperature for a minimum of 30 minutes, and I have always recommend baking for an hour, the, the particles or the plastic particles or the polymer particles in the clay will not bond together properly. So if you're going to try to use a, something like a heat gun or any other source, a heat source, the main thing is that the temperature needs to be held at the proper temperature for your clay. So I took my heat gun and I set it on, um, used the, my oven thermometer and actually it, it picks up the temperature from the back. So I held it back here and I ran it for 10 minutes and the highest I could get the thermometer to go was 210. Two now that isn't a high enough temperature to properly cure polymer clay. Another issue, and I've seen advice where people are advising to use your heat gun and then hold it there while baking, is that you're just not going to be able to hold it there long enough. I mean, who's going to sit there for a whole hour? Even if you could get it at the right temperature, I mean, e each heat gun is different. Maybe you could find one that would go to 265. Who's going to stand there and hold that for an hour? Um, it, it's sort of like watering your lawn with a, with a, with the uh, handheld hose. I mean, you're only going to stay there for a little while, and you could end up having you could end up bubbling your clay if it did get hot enough in one spot. So, a heat gun just really isn't a good uh, viable way of baking your polymer clay. Now. It will temporarily, I mean, cure it. Cure it to the stage where um, it's partially cured. So say if you're working on a sculpture or a piece where you want to partially cure the clay and then add some more pieces to it, you can, do, you can use a heat gun for that. But then what you're going to want to do is bake it in your oven at the proper temperature for a full hour to get a full cure. So a heat gun is an okay source to use in a temporary measure or in there's certain techniques like my full Raku, for example, where I'm partially curing the clay. You can use it for that, but don't try to get a full cure out of your, for your polymer clay pieces with a heat gun. So I hope that advice was helpful for you. Um, if you have, if you really liked it and, and you found it useful, then make sure to give us a thumbs up. That is really great. And if you have any problems that you are finding with your polymer clay projects, make sure to ask and I can help you with that. So I hope that helped you and I will see you next time. Bye for now.